Hello, I'm Michael and in today's video we're going to focus on photography or filming equipment and you already see the equipment that's here, the new DJI mic and I just got it yesterday and yeah this is kind of the first test of the mic so I already did some listening and recording tests and yeah what you're now listening to is the default settings. So having the receiver and the transmitter sit at their default settings, no gain supplied, also the camera is set to auto levels and yeah as you can listen or hear there's quite a bit of noise and at first I was a bit disappointed by that because I thought surely this microphone it costs more than 300 bucks it should record better audio. My old solution with the Zoom H1 with a Rode LavMac connected was much less noisy. So yeah, what's the solution for this? And I want to share this now because I think it's very important to get this right because otherwise you don't get good audio. And also I've not seen a video yet where this is talked about or those settings are explained. So yeah, next what we want to do is I want to record another video now where I use the backup track. So here's a little button on this microphone and if you press it it will not only record into the camera, you'll also get a recording directly into the mic. And this track here, you can then pull down from the microphone directly in the computer and sync with the video. This track, there's no transmission of any audio signals. It's unencoded wave recording, so directly onto this little device. And let's test this and see how the noise sounds with this one. So now for the second test, I'm using the backup track, which you see here highlighted by this red lamp on this transmitter. This tells you or me that I'm currently recording not only into the camera but also a backup track onto this device and what you're now hearing is that backup track. So let's see or listen to the noise again. So this should be now much better. This is what the microphone is capable of recording without any transmission and yeah in the next step we want to now also try to fine-tune the gains which you can set for the transmitter and the receiver and also on the camera to arrive as close as possible at this result because I think what we heard before doesn't sound very good and we should get closer to what we're hearing now. Before I adjust the settings in the microphone and the camera to try and get it to sound closer to what we just heard, let's have a quick look at the audio signal of the backup track. So here in DaVinci Resolve you can see that I had to increase it by more than 16 dB to be as loud as the recording of the previous track. So you see this down here. This was the one from the camera and here's the backup track after I intensified the audio signal by more than 16 dB. So now they lie at the same level roughly but if I don't increase it, so let's pull it back, you see that it's at a much lower level here. That means that the DJI mic recording out of the box is quite silent but it's also very clean which is why after adding volume in DaVinci Resolve to it we still don't hear any noise. Having it sit at such a low level also ensures that there won't be clipping in a loud environment. Now if I feed such a low audio signal into the Canon R5 and leave the audio settings there at auto it will intensify the signal a lot. Also if I don't speak at all it will intensify it even more, which is why there was even more noise in the silent part before. So in general having the audio setting in the camera sit at auto is not ideal in most situations, especially in a controlled office setup. The difference to intensifying the raw signal in DaVinci Resolve is that the signal is decoded and then fed into the camera via a cable into the analog audio jack. Noise can be introduced here or internally as the camera handles this analog signal and intensifies it. And I think this is what we heard in the first recording. By the way, the same happens when I do a screen recording like this one here with my Dell XPS. Although I have the DJI receiver plugged in via USB, Windows messes up the audio if the signal coming from the receiver is too weak. Now let's see how to solve this for the camera setup. So now for the final recording I've set the gain here in the transmitter to plus six. I set the gain in the receiver to plus three and I think the most important setting in addition to that was also to change the settings in the camera. So I disabled the auto which I feel was a much too high level, much too loud and I set it to manual and tuning it so the signal 
in the camera lies somewhere between minus 10 and minus 3 dB, depending on how loud I speak. And now listen, or let's listen to the noise. So hopefully this combination now gives me an audio signal that's much closer to what I can record here inside of this device. And in the end, I should be able to record proper audio with this not so cheap system. Also what I'll do in the future when I record, I think I'll always use this backup recording because worst case, I get the settings not right in the camera. I still get a good signal here and it's easy to sync the audio which I record inside of the transmitter directly with the audio and the video. And that's easily done in DaVinci Resolve. I do this all the time when I record with a GoPro for example. So the only thing you need is some audio signal which is already synced to the video which we now have and then the backup track just align it or have it auto align that's also possible in DaVinci Resolve and then I should always have proper audio. Yeah and that's it with the video. So I hope you found it helpful. If you have the same problem like I had in the beginning hearing all that noise you now have a solution. You can also fine tune it a bit more. Maybe you need different settings. Just play around with it. Um, this is just what currently works for me. I'll also further explore the settings and see if I can further fine tune it, especially if I'm different yeah, situations where I might have a yeah, louder environment with waterfalls and everything. But yeah, for now, this is quite a good solution and shows me that it's possible to get noise-free audio from this device. Yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.